Hey, what's up guys? John Osumi from Motion Shooter Photography here again on another video. I'm gonna go out and do some birding today. So this is something I've gotten into recently. Um, it's very satisfying, very fun, takes a lot of patience. So um, it might be a little early in the afternoon because what I'm realizing that you wanna do these things, you wanna go out and try to capture them in your photographs earlier in the morning or later in the evening when they're coming out to eat and forward and stuff like that but it's about three o'clock here uh, california time i'm gonna go out there and see what i can find all right come and take a walk so one thing that i've always learned about doing this wildlife photography especially with birds you want to move slowly like this where there's not enough people around. So if they hear you coming, you might not see it by the time you get to the spot where they were. Several great blue herrings. I think I see an egret down at the shore, down at the water level. basically a wastewater treatment facility. Uh, there's three ponds. I would consider it an estuary. Um, so what they do is they treat the water before it gets released slowly out into the ocean. But uh, it creates a good habitat for the birds, um, a lot of squirrels, cottontail rabbits, um, different wildlife. So what I find is each time that I come back, I tend to notice different things or uh, Sometimes you'll see certain creatures of one type and then you won't see them again, but then you might see them again later on. So it's just a matter of just being patient, uh, keep coming back, and you never know what you're going to get each time. I hear something. So I think that's a Phoebe that's behind me. He's letting me get really close. I don't want to disturb him anymore. I'm going to move on. So sometimes when you're out wildlife photography, especially with birds, it's good just to stop and be still for a few minutes. A lot of times they can hear you coming, but if you stay still and just hang out, um, they go back to doing what they were doing before. Sometimes they can come closer to you. Um, yeah, they got busy lives. They got things they want to do. Not only am I just looking for birds and wildlife, find some insects and moths and caterpillars and stuff like that. Fox moth caterpillar, just having a meal. When I'm walking through these paths, I'm looking for birds that are kind of on little branches. Um, I prefer to shoot them at an even eye level if I can. Um, what I don't like, even though I will do it from time to time, is shoot up at them with a, kind of a bright sky. I just don't like how it turns out with the color and the editing. But you know what? You take what you can get.
All right, well, we're back in the car. Uh, I think I got some good shots. You know, you never know. You got to get back to the computer and edit and see what you got. Um, in hindsight, I probably would have waited maybe a little bit longer because it seems like maybe things are starting to pick up as I was leaving. It's about 4.30 right now. So um, um, that was my window of opportunity to shoot. So I just did it at that time. So I'm going to go home and edit and see what kind of shots I got. I think I did get some good ones. Um, the good thing is you don't have to wait. Here's the shots I got right here, right now. And this is John from Motion Shooter Photography. Until the next time.